Okay, I know it's been a while. I apologize. I promise I'm not forgetting about you guys. It's just been a bunch of stuff happening and I just haven't had a whole lot of time. I've recorded videos and I have them ready, but uh, we just, we just got to do all the editing and stuff and it's just not a whole lot of time. So here is my uh, initial attempt at this new set of pets that team would brought out here. So there's like this weird corn corn cob build or something that they're trying to push. Uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me yet, so we're not going to tackle that one quite yet. It's a whole new archetype, but I did notice they have a bunch of little like skunk homies, like skunk adjacent that we're going to check out. So we're going to see. We're just going to try all of them. There's a bunch of new ones and then the old ones with skunk and whatnot as well. Just kind of see how good it is. See if it's a valid archetype or not. So, I mean, without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, starting off strong here. We got a couple of gibbons. <laughs> oh, okay. We got a lot of gibbons out here. Um, the unfortunate part is gibbons kind of suck, um, <laughs> as we can see right here. They're not the best early game, but in theory, we can scale up pretty quickly, I think. So, and another one. All right, level three gibbon incoming. I think we put it here, actually, because we're going to give this guy a bunch of health. And... Yeah, I think it, it just makes sense here. Uh, we might be... Yeah, okay, no. We are going to go down to four hearts. Or down to three up to four. But I love where we're at right now. <laughs> Look at all the health. Alright, so we got to be very conscientious of how we stack our gibbons on top of each other. Because um, I don't want to, like, goof up the health, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to make them... I don't want to lose out on some potential health. Now the betta fish here, I think is going to be better than the sheep because we can pill it. Um, we can actually fry a shrimp at home too. Probably this guy because he's already low health. And we can broccoli. We don't actually need <laughs> the seventh gibbon. We already got level three. Um, and honestly, I think we just combine these two. I think combining them here, you get a big old home. <clears throat> big old homie. <coughs> Jeez, excuse me. Um, yeah, I think that's just perfect. Now the ordering, we're on an odd turn, so we should be fine. Just kind of hide a low. Just standard. Now he does have a pretty big cricket, but we got an even bigger gibbon. See, now we're kind of popping off a little bit. We're like kind of going insane. So let's go Hercules Beetle here. Mm -mm. I mean, Stork is pretty good in general. I guess we could try it. I don't want to stack the Gibbon yet is the problem. Because I would like to get a tier 4. Okay, maybe we just run... Maybe we sell the Hercules Beetle? I don't know. I don't love it. But... At some point, it's like, do we do we want to just do the gold efficient, <laughs> gold efficient tur? Uh, just grab the stork here. Obviously, buy selling a non buy sell pet is not gold efficient, but ooh, see, this is another new guy. He gets a five five if there's an open slot, which is very strong, I would say, for a tier three. Um, and then if there's no open slot, oh crap. <laughs> our, our gibbons are in the wrong order. Uh, if there's no open slot, then it just buffs your whole team. Pretty cool. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of these new pets that we're definitely going to have to check out. Um, try to make some interesting archetypes here. This guy's another one. He just gives like corn cobs. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know a whole lot about it besides you get corn cobs. Man, do we do we combine or are we just holding strong here? I'm not sure. I'm gonna make sure we're in the right gibbon order because we weren't last time. I think this is good. I, we can combine here. I think. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't I don't want to level up another one on an even turn. We already leveled up one. But do we just? <laughs> the apple feels really bad. But I think that's probably our best bet right here. Oh, good lord. Um, maybe? Oh, dude, we got so lucky. That garlic is coming in clutch. Okay. 
Front running weak units against a hurt team usually is a death sentence. Okay. I mean, I'm always going to run a cow, but I like the look of this hamster here a little bit. Maybe just get a big old stork cooked up, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, another waffle? Two cow abilities on turn seven? That's insane. Okay. Hmm, unfortunate. I think we're gonna lose here. Oh, actually, we're not. Oh, we're, we're looking kind of good right now. Hold on. This is kind of coming along nicely. It's probably about time to combine these. I wish we would have found a pill by now for this betta fish. A bit unfortunate that we haven't. Um, but I'm down. I'm, I'm, we're playing the long game here, right? We'll throw in some grapes. Get a waffle cooked up here. And the reason I'm not putting it on the garlic unit, these milks, is because I don't want to keep the gibbon, like, long, long term. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we need grapes here. Uh, two waffles doesn't work on a cow, so we are cooking along. And yeah, I think it's better... Well, maybe not this time. Oh, shoot. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I think it's better to have the betta fish not hitting one of our giant units. Um, just because I, I like a wide team. I like having multiple homies that are pretty large. There he is, okay. Um, as, as I say that, we're going to be doing this, because, <laughs> um, these permanent stats, ideally, ideally we're not spending all of our buffing on a gibbon, you know what I'm saying? Or even a cow, he's a level one. We find more cows, maybe, but we're looking for, like, new pets, you know what I'm saying? We're looking to try out some new pets, and there's not a whole lot of those right now on our team. Um, yeah, nice try, Bozo. I'm so revved up right now. Dude, is that Rev GT? Question mark? What? <laughs> Rev GT, pulling out the, the summon snipes. Okay, we do find another cow. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll rock a level two cow. Um, Waffle's fantastic. I think if we roll into an actual cow, because that would be better. Um, this is kind of awkward. I mean, we want to try running this tarantula hawk, right? So maybe we start pivoting the cow to, to buff this dude. Maybe. I don't know. We're running out of time. And <laughs> we don't have any interesting new pets yet. <clears throat> this looks like a very unfortunate team. Uh, we're good though, actually. We're like totally fine. Dude, this team is kind of cracked. And it's all this new guy. <laughs> it's all Tarantula Hawk, right? Right? Oh, we found another one. Okay. I mean, Leviathan is tempting, but we just simply don't have room for him right now. Ooh, that's fantastic. Uh, if we had six gold, I would use the waffle, but since we don't, I think it's more important to run this. Ooh, okay, hold on. I want to do the Wolverine. I haven't really given him a chance yet. So he's kind of like a new pet in my eyes. But I don't think this is the team for Wolverine. If it is, I don't think we have enough time to get him online. Um, this is looking iffy. Okay, just kidding, we're good. Dude, I really hope we don't just win here. The team is not that strong, it's just a high-statted stork is basically all we got. But I guess maybe that is enough, I don't know. Alright, can we get this tarantula hawk cooked up? We just gotta speedrun it at this point. Another cow. Perfect. At least show off the tarantula hawk, right? Okay, I actually really hope we don't lose here. Maybe we set it up like this. So that we can intentionally throw. Because next turn we're going to pop off with the tarantula hawk. Bro, what the hell is this team? <laughs> what are you doing, brother? 
This isn't a team. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Can we get... I mean, the double mouse... Kind of like the Gibbon play, a little bit, right? Double mouse, you're, you're anticipating losing the first probably two rounds. <laughs> Good name. Um, but you're you're setting up for a stronger pivot. The mouse, okay. Uh, and sometimes that's where the money is made, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's all you need. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. We will just barely lose here. We actually are playing as Gumber. Fantastic channel. Would highly recommend. Um, okay. I mean, this seems like a natural setup, right? You get Deer Lord and Betta Fish on level up. How do you not take that? Okay, Kangaroos. I think this is a pretty solid setup, to be honest. I don't anticipate losing the rest of this early game, at least. We're gonna we're gonna cook at four hearts for a while. Um, okay, so this is a new toy. It gives your front pet popcorn. Um, a little underwhelming, if you ask me, but that's okay. They don't all have to be winners. <laughs> Um, let's see, Stoat is probably worth investing in. Let's give it to a kangaroo, I guess. I mean, let's sell the mouse, right? We got, we'll make room for a Hercules Beetle. Same stat line, but he's actually doing something for us. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. Ogo Pogo is gonna be a no-go for me. I think we're just gonna eat the ant here. Hopefully it doesn't hit the Hercules Beetle. Of course it hits the Hercules Beetle. <laughs> the one in four. You hate to see it. Um, this guy's banking on the loss and we're going to provide. S12. Best of luck to you. Let's see. I mean, we can take the deer, the kangaroo level. <laughs> I just said the deer level up. We can take the kangaroo level up here. Um, get a nice... Tier 4, maybe? Skunk. That's a health removal. That's one one in the books. I like it. Another griffin. Kind of makes me wish I had kept the previous one. But it's a little late now. Oh, are we tier 3? We could get one baboon trigger on you, and then one... And then two on the skunk, potentially. See, the problem with Deer Lord is it's very good early, but then it's kind of like, you know, you, you don't want to keep them forever. <laughs> Ideally, we're going to we're gonna pivot to, you know, the team comp that we want. And so far, all we have to that respect is the skunk. I don't think it's worth investing in Hercules Beetle here. I mean, honestly, I think we just sell and eat the Anteater. The Hunter becomes the Hunted. Give the Skunk a little bit of attack because Skunk is probably going to stick around. Okay, cool. I like where we're at here. 1411 with Garlic. That's pretty solid. Oh, I love this. I'm so glad this guy is going for this build. Uh, it's not going to work for him here, unfortunately. But, man, I've been trying that build for a good little while. <laughs> it is not very consistent. I remember we had a stream of where everyone was trying to get that build to work. Dude, it was it's tough. You don't realize how difficult it is to find, to find a... a specific pet until you're looking for a specific pet. Ooh, I could just double pair over here. Let's just do this. Nice and easy. Why not? We could get a tar for next turn, but I kind of like the garlic, to be honest. But yeah, you don't realize how difficult it is until you you're actually looking for a specific pet, which I think kind of goes to show why they always say you shouldn't be 
trying to force builds. You kind of have to adapt and improvise as you're as you're trying to pivot around and make something work. You gotta you gotta go with the punches. You know that classic boxing saying: "Roll with the punches." What do we got here? Might be a little uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's get the the grapes here. We got waffles, but we don't have a cow, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Now the baboon may be going low key. Um, the dolphin is terrible. <laughs> the dolphin didn't do anything for him. Unfortunate. And like low key, the skunk is like, ooh, there's like, this is a huge shop. Okay, hold on, hold that thought. What are we going for here with the stoat? I think. I mean, I'd be fine with most anything, but obviously Tarantula Hawk would be ideal. You could get this guy cooked up. Tier 6 is like where Stoke kind of thrives, though. So we can get a tier or a level 3 tier 6. I think that's gonna be our, our sweet spot. Let's do this. Um, it is gonna be a pretty dramatic pivot, but we have bacon to support our tarantula hawk. So there's that. And if, uh, if I don't know if I explained this well enough, the tarantula hawk removes one, two, or three health from every enemy for every ten attack that it has. So it's actually pretty strong. If you can get it to 50, level three, 50 attack, I mean, it goes kind of hard, low key. Yeah, so it does, how much is that? 3 times 5, 15 times 5, no, <laughs> yeah, 15 times 5, whatever, you get the idea, it's a lot of health that you take off of there, but obviously right now we're not doing that, we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there, we're slowly rolling up, I think we hold the stoat for one more turn if we can, we're getting a good amount of attack going here. I think the Niala's got to go. I like the Tiger here. Um, I think this is the play. I don't love the Deer Lord long term, but we might have to. At least it's giving attack, right? It's buffing our, our homie here. It's better than nothing. Okay. Hurt builds. Um, are we good? We are good. <laughs> okay. Um, this is looking eerily similar to last game. <laughs> Where we're at. Eight wins, four hearts. Let's see what we get. Ooh! Oh! Ah, okay. <laughs> um, okay. That looked bad. But it's actually very good. Now stick with me here. I have something in mind, but... Okay, we got our tiger back. That's good. Uh, but we're going to have to find a certain somebody and a mushroom to make this work. Eagle Owl seems pretty okay, but I don't think he's right for this team. <clears throat> uh, okay. I mean, we, we got to find a mushroom, right? That's like step number one. For a build that just removes a boatload of health from everybody. <laughs> you gotta get a mushroom on your your little little one, small one. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I want to try this new guy, but I don't know if he's really like. I don't know if I can slot him in. If I find a platypus, we'll try it. I'm not seeing a platypus. Okay, well, on the bright side, we're not winning. <laughs> uh, let's just get rid of these. We're not winning this turn. Um, so, so we got some runway. If we can find a mushroom and a wolverine, I think we could be in a good spot. So we'll freeze the leviathan, help us look for the wolverine here. If we had a mushroom here, this would go absolutely insane. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. I think we would have sauced that team. 
Not dude, but like, do we have room for a, for a Leviathan? Not really. We'd have to get rid of our tiger. Um, maybe we don't. Now the beauty of tiger, unlike a parrot, is that the tiger is going to duplicate the tarantula hawk's ability based on the tarantula hawk attack. The, the tiger doesn't have to be leveled, which is really nice. It doesn't have to be statted up. Ooh, we found a wolverine. Okay. Wolverine here, and then we get a mushroom, and then we win. Maybe. That's the idea. Okay, great hit. Our wolverine will not die um, to the small one once he finds a mushroom. Dude, this... A few more turns, and I can tell you, this build is coming together. This is gonna be fantastic. As soon as we find a mushroom, dude, we're popping off. It's gonna be great. Uh, we get the tiger level two. That's huge. Ooh, okay, okay, we're good. Now we're just looking for levels and stats on the tarantula hawk, ideally, because he's looking a little small. Just a smidge. Um, I think we, because eh, the tarantula hawk's gonna die the small one but maybe that's okay I'd give somebody some pita bread see I like the cow but like who we we might just have to sell the wolverine honestly get the cow in here to get some stats up in this biz Dude. <laughs> oh no oh no it's it's a menace that's all this team is it's a menace I didn't even see, did Wolverine do anything there? He should have. But I think they might have all just died anyways. We may have just succeeded with the Tarantula Hawk Tiger combo. I don't think we need the cow. Keep the Wolverine on the team. Well, there's another cow. <laughs> um, yeah, let's keep the tiger alive here. All right. If we win here, that's fine. <laughs> we got a few. I mean, this is essentially the team I'm going for. They're not super high leveled, but... Oh, dude, it's over. <laughs> it's so over, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Fantastic. I'm glad we got it here. That was a fun one. There's... This could have been stronger, but I love where it's at. I love that we have some new pets here to, to toy around with. Stay tuned. A lot of more builds coming your way.